My name's Jane. I'm married to Keith and I live here with Chelsea and my grandson Leighton. Before the accident, Chelsea was a very outgoing, lively young girl. 16, used to be a bit of a tear away, wasn't scared of much, lots of friends. One night in April in 2006, she was coming home from her boyfriend's house. Her boyfriend lives about a mile away from us. Um, they were coming home in his car and we lived down a very narrow country lane and as he came down the lane he went round um, an awkward bend which is quite well known and hit a tree and as he hit the tree the car then rolled two or three times. You can imagine as any mum the first thing you hear is Chelsea's trapped in a car and they're cutting the roof off, you just imagine the worst. When we got her to the hospital, because of the time of night, sort of 10.30, quarter to 11, we got her into the hospital and the hospital staff um, automatically assumed that she'd been drinking and that's why she was so hysterical. The consultant took one look at her and said, there's no way this girl's had a drink, she's got a, a brain injury and she needs to have an MRI scan now and that was when they actually took her off and gave her an MRI scan and they found out that she'd actually had a brain hemorrhage on her front lobe, her front temporal lobe. This sort of injury, they said, would affect her personality and would give her permanent brain damage. And Chelsea was 16, so she wasn't a fully developed adult. So we didn't know whether the future would be what Chelsea would originally turn out to be, or whether the future would, had been determined by the brain injury. She probably slept 18 hours a day. She, her moods were very up and down. She was either very upset and crying, or very happy and funny. She didn't like to be left on her own. She didn't leave the house. Um, she barely left her bedroom. She was eating and sleeping and basically that was it and I think that went on probably for the best part of a year. All we knew is that we needed to take some advice so we got in touch with Lee Day and I spoke to Sally at Lee Day who was brilliant. Lee Day um, gave us a real insight into what we should be doing and when we met with Sally from Lee Day she sat down and explained in, in such depth and detail, not just about the legal side of things, but also about head injuries and what that means and what that involves and the process that Chelsea would probably go through. She made everything so much more clearer for us. Um, she was very forthright, very honest. She said it would be a long road, um, but she also said that she would make sure that you know we all got the advice and the help that we needed so after that first initial meeting with Sally we felt much better and we felt as if someone had actually come along and they were going to take care of us if you like take the pressure off of us and work with us to to give Chelsea some sort of a future and she came out and she just explained everything to us about head injuries and what we had to do. There's a huge range of impacts when a person has suffered a brain injury from relatively minor concussion and memory, short-term memory loss problems to the most catastrophic injury, including someone in a permanent vegetative state or another person who might be unable to communicate, to walk, to look after themselves in any way, to have uh, any memory of their, of their life before, the, before they were injured. So there is, there is this huge range. Part of my job when a client has sustained a brain injury is to make detailed assessments with the support of medical experts and evidence from family and friends as to how that brain injury has impacted on the client or the individual concerned. It's generally thought that a person will continue to recover for about two years after sustaining a brain injury but after that the level of recovery starts to plateau. 
So we have to bide our time because cases are invariably settled on a full and final basis and so you can't come back if it turns out the injury is, is worse and, and more life-altering than you originally thought. Would I have been the person I am today if I hadn't had the accident? And they wanted to analyse the person I was before the accident and then try and figure out who I was going to become which is really frustrating and hard because when you're the age that I was, you're sort of thinking, well, I don't, I don't know who I'm going to become. I don't know what I want to do. It got hard. It was tough. And there were times where you thought, I actually don't want to do this anymore. Um, it, it got frustrating. It was as if your whole life was taken over with solicitors and doctors and medical experts. But you, at the back of your mind, there is always this thing, this is for Chelsea. Chelsea has had this happen to her and for her sake and for her future, we need to keep going. And Sally always reiterated that point. Sally, personally, was just absolutely brilliant. She was wonderful. If ever we had any problems, I could ring her up and speak to her. My mum could ring her up and speak to her. She actually felt like she became a friend in the end. The solicitors agreed that Chelsea should be given a lump sum of money, which was, to be honest, quite scary at first because it was quite a substantial lump sum of money. We had decided that Chelsea should have a trustee. When I heard about the settlement, I felt really relieved from it. I um, felt like a weight had been lifted off of my shoulders, really. Just happy that it was all over and could finally move on with my life. And then it was just really surreal, real surreal shock to the system, but in a good way. You know, a cheque comes through the post for so much money and you think, oh my God, I can't believe this has got my name on it. And it just felt like it had all been worth it in the end. Chelsea at the moment is living at home. She's living actually in an annex just off of our house. So she's got her own independence. She's got her own space. Um, she's there with her two-year-old son. The feeling of it being finished and Chelsea finally walking away and having that financial security was absolutely fantastic and worth every second of every doubt of every hard day. It was worth every single minute. Probably for the first time in a long time in my life, I actually feel really happy with the person that I am and I feel just really confident, positive, and I've got a really good outlook at life now. So I am really happy with the person that I've become.